kitchen over here at Creative Kitchen and Bath with the fabulous Alison from Wild Time Cooking. How are you, my friend? I'm great. How are you? Okay, I'm fantastic. Always. Perfect morning for me. We are cooking what looks like one of your regular dishes that you give to everyone for your pre-prepared meals. You've got it. Yep. Yeah. This is on our menu every single week and it's very popular. So this is going to make your morning even better. And what exactly are they? Uh, lemon blueberry muffins, Ooh. but uh, gluten-free and dairy-free. Which is something that you do with your pre-prepared meals. Yes. How often should people organize their pre-prepared meals. I know it's on your website, but just talk me through that a little bit. Okay, so every Tuesday we put up a new menu. Mm -hmm. And so you can go to the website between Tuesday and Sunday and order your meals. Um, we always have a roughly, I'd say, eight to 10 options. And so you can choose from a chicken, pork, beef, you know, we, we kind of go across the board, soup and salad. Um, and we even have like a breakfast option as well, okay. along with granola, bone broth, and these. I love that. So um, I wanted to show you how to make these though, because Good. we also have some gluten-free baking classes yep. and paleo classes coming up because some people, you know, have the time and yeah. they do want to be able to know how to do these dishes at home. Good. So want to be able to show you both. Okay. So, Give us, where do we start, my friend? Gluten-free baking is a combination of flours or starches. Okay. It's not as simple as, oh, here I'm going to sub in for all-purpose flour. It's a few different things that help to give do bread. Do I see measuring cups here with oh you? Oh my God, you do, but I'm not, I don't measure. I don't measure. Um, but I wanted to show you kind of the ratio. So the first thing we have is some coconut flour. Oh. Coconut flour is very absorbent, so you don't want very much at all. So right. this is roughly, I'd say, a quarter cup. Yep. Um, and then we add uh, arrowroot powder or tapioca starch. Oh. That's what gives the bread or the gluten-free bread more of a chewier texture. Mm -hmm. um, so if you were to just go with coconut flour, it would be, you, I'm sure you've had or tried their very dry, you know, baked goods and that's from the coconut flour. Right. So that's why you don't need very much of that. Okay. So then we're going to go with probably a third of a cup of the tapioca okay. starch. Okay. Gotcha. And then almond meal. Almond meal or almond flour is very important because that's going to be the bulk of your dough. Um, it's light and it just works. Yeah. So we're going to go in with our almond meal and that's it. So it's those three that okay, I use. Okay, that's pretty simple. Okay. Then we're going to add in our, fl our flavoring. So um, I'm using some, you could use lemon zest yep. and then uh, lemon juice. Yep. So we're going to add in lemon juice. I'm cheating again. Well, you probably make these every day. And then uh, maple syrup. Okay, right. so that's our sweetener. So we're not using um, just white artificial sugar. Okay. We're using a sweetener. And when I buy maple syrup, I get the 100% pure maple syrup. Can that's we use agave? Um, I haven't tried it with okay. agave. So we should try that. We should try okay. it, yeah. So a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten it up. Yep. And then a couple eggs and some you. coconut oil. Yep. So you're just balancing the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients, yep. and then we mix it together. Okay. Good job. Just the two eggs for this. How many does this make? This will probably make roughly six. Oh, okay. A little bit of, little oh, bit of coconut, I love the coconut oil. Coconut oil. coconut oil you can also use in place of butter in a lot of um, uh, just standard recipes. Okay. I'm going to add just a touch of vanilla. Oh, I love that. Could mm -hmm. I use fresh vanilla? You know, the... The, the vanilla, vanilla bean or? Yes, you could. A little more It expensive. looks different when you mix it. Okay, so up, see how it? that's a little bit wet? Yeah. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more almond meal. Now mix that in. Okay. I'd like to show you this without recipes because see, if someone's at home and maybe they were a little heavy handed on the lemon juice and they're like, oh no, it's wet, what do I do? Add a little bit more of that almond meal if you need to. Add a okay. touch of the coconut flour. See how that's come together Yeah, that a has better? come together a lot exactly. better. Exactly, just with a little sprinkle of that. Yeah. And then the final thing, let's fold in our um, blueberries. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I just have some little muffin liners in Did a Did you spray them? Pan. You don't need to when you have the liners. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so then they'll just peel right off. So let's grab a spoon. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm hopeless at... I'll put that all over the place, I'm telling you. So then, yeah, we'll just scoop it out, pop it in there. Okay. And we'll bake well, that for looks pretty simple. about 15 minutes or so. Okay. Um, at 350. Does this taste like normal mix, like cake mix? Can it I taste does. it? It does, yeah. Yeah, try it. 
You know how we always eat out of the bowl with oh, grandma? Oh, I know. Who doesn't love that batter? And then I love to fit. Yum. I love to finish it with a little bit of like sugar. So this is from Bourbon Barrel Foods. It's a product that we carry at Wild Time, uh, made um, in Louisville. Um, but this is a uh, bourbon smoked sugar. Nice. Okay. Well, while this is cooking, we're going to make sure that you have all the ingredients up on your screen as we're cooking this today. If you want to find out more information, head over to wtvq.com forward slash midday Kentucky. Mint julep sugar sounds divine. I know. And this is really divine as well. Hey, thanks for coming in. Always. Thanks Appreciate for having me. We'll be right back after this short break.